Here at ServoVision we proudly present our new EV direct drive motor series for multiple applications such as car, boat, plane, just to name a few. The series is designed for high torque and RPM. The very strong magnets are specially arranged to reduce the eddy current when running at high speed. Our modified optional water-cooled controllers SHB series can switch very high electric cycle with matching IGBT or MOSFET. So this is the first model of the series. It is a direct drive motor which has a 35 kilowatt. Peak will be around 70. It runs on 120 to 300 volt, has a weight to torque uh, from 75 Newton meter, a peak from 150. Uh, this model is available for 4500 and 6000 RPMs. Our second model you see here is a direct drive motor which has a uh, 25 kilowatt, a peak from 50 and uh, it runs on 72 to 200 volt. The weight to torque you would be between 55 newton meter and a peak around 100. It is also available in the 4500 and 6000 RPM uh, version. This is a, a direct drive motor which has 18 kilowatt, has a peak from 40, runs on 72 to 180 volts. It has a special solid alloy cover case. Um, it is uh, torque weighted to 38 newton meter peak will be doubled and uh, it's also available in uh, 4500 or in a 6000 RPM range. All motors and controllers come with uh, liquid coat and uh, they are very cost affordable. Direct drive power trains represent the best compromise between efficiency and simplicity for our customers looking to electrify their so commercial vehicle platforms. It was to design a high RPM up to 6000. Some models are customized and have a high power density electric motor. Now all models are around, um, uh, you can say, 7 kilowatt per kilogram motor weight. Yeah, the, the key advantages of this design, what DD motors offer, they are more efficient because, uh, because they are direct drive, you don't have any mechanical loss uh, due to friction with the uh, transmission. You have less moving parts, so the overall efficiency is much higher. And the direct drive motor is very compact, easy for installation. Um, the DD high power version, 25 kilowatt, 50 kilowatt, or uh, 35, 70 kilowatt, or 40 kilowatt, 80 kilowatt peak power in use uh, for electric conversion kit uh, will fit nearly any design without major changes to the vehicle. For this reason um, they want the motor and the power electronics components to fit between the gearbox 
of front drive SE and middle shaft axle to rear um, at the back side. For rear drive ideal, ideally keeping the same type of drive shaft arrangement knowing all the space taken by small and medium engine and the automatic transmission typically found in a small and medium truck. This can easily be achieved with a direct drive motor. It also can be stacked on two motors as you see in our last model. And um, for the high power motor version or double power, just contact us. One way, one way to maximize the reliability is to minimize the amount of moving parts within your driving system. This is what we aim to do with our direct drive motor uh, because removing the gearbox means that you can remove out of the equation the most mechanically complex and maintenance intensive part of an electric vehicle. DD motor connected to the axle, the only mechanical wear you have in your powertrain is the dry shaft bearing and the axle itself. Both are designed to last the lifespan of the vehicle. Our direct motor, if used in the condition prescribed by our operation manual and precaution, it can last 250,000 km without any maintenance being required. If we are speaking of maintenance, um, there are of course obvious costs associated with it. For a vehicle operator it means expenses related to the training of support personnel, spare parts storage and vehicle downtime. This will remain a reality even with electric vehicles. We need to keep in mind that one of the selling arguments in favor of EVs is that they are expected to reduce all of the expenses incurred for vehicle maintenance. Um, maintenance is also about being able to access, diagnose and replace the product as easily as possible if there is a problem uh, by optional CAN bus display dashboard. Um, I will show you later, we have it over there at the end. So, overall, what we have, uh, we have a water-cooled system, as you can see, it's the in and the outlet for the water. It uh, cools the stator. It has, um, as you can see, our controller. It has be a J2 and a J1. The J1 port, it has the connection for the CAN bus. So you have the possibility to choose either with or without CAN bus. Our controllers also water cooled. You can see, show you. So here are the water cool fittings. Oh, if we look inside the motor, you can see that the copper wire is completely uh, enclosed in uh, epoxy. So this motor, for example, would be perfect for put in an environment which is moist or have a high humidity, uh, boats, water sports, something like that. Here I show you our CAN bus display. So if you're going for a CAN bus. So this is our setup for the CAN display at the moment as you can see. If I move the lever you can see how the throttle and the motor speed goes up and the colors indicate in which state each section is. So if it's yellow it's still okay but in a high load. If it's red better avoid. 
you can see it's very simple easy to use so this is a complete assembly fired up the controller <coughs> motor so now we have the control here this power on off uh, forward reverse brake and throttle so if I switch it on and give some throttle <coughs> To the input. So if I want to go in reverse, I just flick the switch. I hope you liked our little demonstration and we we'll see you soon.